Hey guys, welcome back to Pichota's Bakery. Today I'm going to be sitting down and telling you guys a little bit about me. Um, it's going to be somewhat scripted because I need to get through this and um, some of it is very personal. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the sit down um, and maybe we can do a few more of these in the future when I figure out how to do a live Q&A because I'm still trying to figure out a lot of the electronics and stuff. Um, okay, so I'm going to talk a little, bit of little, a little bit about mental health and how it has personally affected me. This part of my story, I don't want sympathy. Any parts of my story, if I ever come on like this, I don't want sympathy. I just want to show you guys how real I am and just putting myself out there to um, tell you guys why I haven't posted in a few days or a few weeks more of and I hope that again I don't get sympathy I just I get to show you guys how real and why things are and where my channel is going to go from here um, okay so for years I was misdiagnosed with bipolar and I'm going to go ahead and start with that because in 2019 I got I got pregnant uh, with my fourth child and because of the fact that I was apparently on the wrong medication I'll explain that in a minute uh, my doctor chose to take me off of my meds because they weren't safe um, for pregnancy um, but the fact that she took me off of lithium especially, which is one of the meds that I was on, um, cold turkey after I told her that I was pregnant when I was on, I believe, like a thousand milligrams and yes, I was getting blood work done um, and she just kept me cold turkey, it caused me to have a miscarriage. Um, I then chose to switch to a new doctor after knowing that my doctor didn't have my best interest at, at heart. She didn't, she just cut me cold turkey. She just, she didn't go ahead and lower my lithium down to where I would end up being safe for my baby and for me. Um, she felt that it was best to go ahead and just cut me cold turkey, which, like I said, caused me to go into a miscarriage because my body rejected the child after that. Um, so I switched to a new doctor in the same facility and I absolutely love this lady. Um, she decided to keep me off of my medication. She decided to put me on a pregnancy safe in case, you know, we ended up getting pregnant again. Um, a pregnancy safe anxiety medication, which is um, Boost Bar. I believe it's the only one that is safe during pregnancy, um, but this is not any medical advice. This is just my experience and my story. Um, so I am on anxiety medication only now. Um, she actually told me that I have a personality disorder and there are millions of different personality disorders out there um, mine is where it's almost as close to bipolar as possible um, in fact my doctor if I remember correctly told me that she had never seen anyone as close to bipolar with this personality disorder disorder before and it stems from trauma of verbal abuse when I was younger, um, anxiety, and of um, being attacked body with body with body uh, sorry body positivity issues. Um, I was 135 pounds when I was around 16 years old, and one of my family members told me that I was fat and that I um, 
needed to lose weight at 135 pounds. Um, if you look at, if I could show you pictures, again, I don't know much about computers, so I couldn't probably pop up a picture of me at 16 years old. Um, it was just, it, it was horrible. It caused me anxiety. It caused me to not love myself. Um, and I've carried those those abuse, the, the verbal abuse and anxiety into my future. Um, and then I ended up losing my children. Um, like, like you guys have seen, I have my 16-year-old daughter back. I thank God for that every day. Um, but because my, my, my ex-husband kept my daughter from me, which is a whole other story. It's being taken care of. Um, and uh, I have PTSD from that. Um, I'm in therapy two times a week because of it. I, uh, I now have full soul custody of my daughter. And that is a huge blessing. Um, it's helped my PTSD a lot. I am learning not to be a hover parent as I was when she was very young. Um, I'm learning to give her, slowly learning to give her more um, freedoms and everything. Um, but I still have two sons that I don't see. Um, and thanks to family members that I am not going to put on blast here. Um, I can't have any contact with one of them. Uh, I do communicate with these family members so that I can keep in touch or keep in tabs with him to see how he's doing. Um, but other than that, that's the only contact I get with him is to go through them and say, hey, how is he doing? Um, I have 34 subscribers right now. And I am very, very grateful to those 34 subscribers. Without you, we wouldn't have a channel right now. And with every new person that I get, I am very inspired to do more videos. Um, but I think right now when it comes to my channel, I think every other week I'll post. If I can post a, another video, like, in between, I would... I will all but gratefully do that. Um, I just, I have a lot to deal with right now when it comes to my mental health, um, the trauma that my daughter has because of not being with me. I have that to deal with um, and her therapy and everything. I also have a lot to deal with when it comes to my husband. He's physically disabled. Um, and I do a lot for him. We've tried to get an aid, um, a home health aid to help him, but we can't seem to keep one in the home because I'm home. I'm doing a job that's not getting paid for. Um, so it's very hard to find people to help him. So I do a lot of it. And as his wife, I'm very, very happy to do it. I love him dearly. And... I absolutely enjoy doing things for him, um, but it does take a, little, a lot of toll on our marriage, and it takes a toll on um, on us, er, on him, and, and me physically. Um, and he's well aware of it, and he tries to make sure that I get as much me time as possible, and he'll do the best he can to help our daughter as well with that. Uh, it doesn't just fall on me. Um, it does fall on him when it comes to parenting. He is her um, dad for all intents and purposes. He's planning on adopting her as soon as we get the extra money. Um, and um, as a wife, a mother, and now juggling YouTube as well, um, I do hope to one day be monetized. I know it may not take off as fast as I hoped. Um, and by posting this, again, I, I'm telling you guys, I don't want sympathy. I just want to put myself out there and tell you guys how real I am. Um, now, next time when we're, when I post, 
we're going to be making pumpkin pie. Um, I'm going to show you how easy it is to follow a recipe because we're going to be going ahead and doing it from the can on the recipe. Um, I hope you guys will continue to watch my videos and I really appreciate you guys a lot. Um, I couldn't do this without your support. It's the fans that make the YouTubes. It's the fans that make any platform at all. And personally, I couldn't be any more thankful for the people that do watch my videos. Um, so thank you so much for being there. If you want to continue to stick around and you're new to this channel, um, I do baking, baking on this channel and sometimes DIYs um, that help us to deal with everyday life. Um, I have a video for disinfectant wipes and I'm hoping to make other ones for that on that as well, um, especially when winter gets closer um, and I have nothing else to do. <laughs> um, if you already follow, if, if, you, if you don't follow me already and you've been watching my channel, please like and subscribe. It'll get my video out there more. It will go ahead and help the algorithm to where we can continue to grow this channel. Um, and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Um, I'll be posting pictures on Instagram of when we go ahead and uh, finish making a product. Um, and you can follow me at Tamar1784 on both. Um, I'd be glad to have you. Uh, so I guess I will see you guys for some pie in two weeks. Thanks for listening and again, like and subscribe. I'd be grateful. Bye.